Alrighty. Got our little Fisker pruners here. These are bypass pruners. It's a late, mid late February. Really cold today. Yeah, it's in the 30s today. And we're going to prune some of these fruit trees. Uh, I haven't even looked at them yet. limbs and stuff so we're gonna we're gonna give them a good look and rule of thumb is you don't want to prune over 40 percent but really i like to stay around 25 percent and this is a jonah gold apple and we look for long sprouts the first thing we look for is like this one right here this thing is actually growing right back at the base so so we're gonna stick in right here, make a clean cut real quick, pinch off. And we're doing it this time of year just because we're trying to train it and cut it before the sap starts to move. So this this right here is a big water sprout. If you see, it's light brown, very little, it's got buds all over, but it's just gonna grow little leaves and stuff. But it's grown straight up. So usually if something comes out, it's a different color than what it should be and it's growing straight up, it's usually bad. So, so we want to pick, it's a good stem up through. We got a, a little limb coming off here and we got one coming off here. So we want to kind of promote these two. So I'm going to take it off right here and let's just come in like this and just clip it nice, it's nice and clean. And as you see, there's nothing, no sap rolling in it yet. Now, what you save is, stick it in some dirt. It's got plenty of little buds. I don't know if you can see them real good or not, but there's little buds all over that you can use for grafting. There's a little, little limb coming off on it. So, so now looking back at it, we look and see if there's anything growing back on itself or through itself. And we got this one right here. That's kind of, it's not growing back at itself, but it, it's growing straight up. So I want to get that one on off. So we'll take it out. And then looking at the top, just looking for anything dead. Uh, we got this one, it's kind of growing back towards the inside so we know we're going to take that one as well so we'll kind of keep these bigger ones we might try to do some growing and a video with those as well so as we look just kind of give it a look over in different directions see how it's doing see if it's got anything you like don't like so we look back look at a different direction i see one more just kind of going straight up then we got this. If you look on this limb here, this limb that I got has got some dried branches. It's got little holes all in it. And what that's telling me is it's bug damage. So the bugs have killed this part of the tree. And that tree, this, this limb is growing back up, which is okay and promoting. But we got this young one right here it's a little better so i'm going to come back and we're going to clip it right there so that's going to promote growth to here so now as we look i don't see anything else on this apple that really needs it at the point so i got another apple here you can see these are in some are in tree shelters two are not reason being these was in tree shelters was these was about this big when I got them and now they're like this so really the only thing I'm looking on these are one year younger than what we just pruned so the only thing I'm really looking at at the moment is I want to see what it's really doing and I don't know that I'm going to prune these this year but I'll probably prune them next year for this one Let's go to our other apple. What else we have doing? 
if we need to do anything. Here, this is a this is cicada damage. Some probably have seen it. They just cut a little slit, lay eggs. Eggs fall out, and, and they'll turn the larva and take 17 years to come back out. But it's got little buds all over it. Looks real good. I'm not seeing not seeing much on what needs to cut at the moment. Um, buds are starting to swell a little bit, so that means it's got something, some sap starting to move because we've had warmer days. So let's leave this one alone. Check this one out. This uh, is a pear. And if you see this right here, I would say something, it, it stood up like that. So I would say something bigger, squirrel or a larger bird, something decided that they was gonna use this to land on. Well, it was, it makes a very bad crotch right here. So that need that the, needed to come out anyway, so it kind of self pruned itself with the help of the birds. So what we're gonna do is just help it on out and take it right off. So we got that one out the way. And you can see it's actually still good. It still has stuff going through it. So we may try to do some grafting or some rooting with this. And we'll make a video of it later. But other than that, like I said, this is still young, so these are one year younger, so we're going to leave it. You see it's got a bunch of limbs and stuff down still. Let's look at our peach. Just looking at the peach, it looks really good. It had the same thing that it just had last year right here, and it's, it's really grown back over. Um, I don't see anything at the moment growing back on the cell. So this piece looks great. Let's, let's take a look at our older one. It actually has some... It's got some accidental damage down here. Uh, that was caused, uh, caused by a cinder block falling off and hitting it. We had cinder blocks around just trying to protect it. And a cinder block fell and hit it and clipped it. But it's starting to heal over, looking really good. So, just looking overall, we've got our main leader coming up. I'm not seeing anything facing right back at it. Um, not seeing any dead limbs. It looks really good. So, I don't think it needs needs pruned as bad as what the other ones. And we'll, we'll take another look once the flowers come on and make another video for y'all if there needs to be any pruning with the flowers. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time.